Welcome back guys to Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story where the scene has been set. Fawful has set a trap and a disease called the Blobs runs rampant through the kingdom with Bowser having eaten a mushroom supplied by the evil villain it seems. Everyone got sucked inside as Mario is now inside Bowser's stomach with acid I guess below us. So let's not fall into there, let's platform with glee and wonder why coin blocks are inside the king of evil. As we continue onwards. Right, that shouldn't fall me into acid of doom! Well, it doesn't hurt me. It just sucks me to another place. So I wanted to go low just in case there was something down here. And indeed there is. Didn't want to fall in, that's for sure. Well, we got ourselves mushroom times free, so it would probably been worth it anyway. That's not stomach acid. Some kind of gelatinous thing. We'll just hope it is. What well, in the name of Globin? Strange to meet you, old visitor. Some call me an emo Globin. Secretish things in the body of Bowser, I know them all. I can impart this knowledge to you if you have the Globin. And I have Emo Globin Bleveren. Hit them, old jumpish creature. Being struck bothers us none, for such is the way of Globin. Anyway, oh traveller, about what are you curious? The nature of Globin? The meaning of Globin? Blzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
And then that amoeba thing grabbed me out of the blue! Hmm, the others? I don't know. I didn't even really understand I'd been in hell until I realized I might be inside Bowser. I bet everyone else is in here somewhere, but right now I have no clue where anyone is. Yeah, definitely inside Bowser. Who knows how in the world that happened, but one thing's for sure. If we don't find the other soon, we're all in big trouble! Yeah, you're right. We'd better just press on. Someone might be nearby. The only thing to say, he said to say, to say in English, of course, is let's go. I wonder if this is the only phrase he knows. Some call me an emo globe with savish qualities. I have savish qualities, but also disappear soonish ones. Want to save your glowing? No, I'm fine. Disappear soonish ones. Well, let's get a preemptive attack this time then. I wonder if I can get the double jump off that. But there we go. Excellent indeed. Oh, I thought that was enough to counter. I didn't think I was that late. But another enemy defeated. Another bit of experience. Item bonus, we got a syrup jar as well. No problem, enemy defeats. And so we move on, and I have fury! Let's go! Alright then, jumpy jumpy time! Let's try to get this block this time. Oh, way too early. See, I'm used to old time, older timings. Everyone seems to pause a lot more. Well, that flag keeps raising. Battles are nice and fast, but that's what you'd expect at the start. So let's keep moving onwards. Right, multi-coin block. And I wonder when Bowser will start to wake up, eh? Right, one there. Well, that's more than one coin, actually. And down we go. To where, though? Oh, landed on an enemy. Nicely done. Completely intentional. Only a one there. Yeah, still jumping early. But we'll say we know the iron enemy's defeated with an excellent jump. You know, one thing I like doing is like stylish attacks where you do like style point things as you go up and down. Like little flips and stuff that you can perform on your own. I, I like that. I like that. I want to do that again. Right, you're a different colour. Some know me as an emo globe with a kindish heart. For I alone soothe the soul and heal the weary globin. Okay, I thought it said gob. I was going to say gobin. Heal the weary globin. Shall I heal yours? Yeah, no thanks at the moment. We'll do a battle first. You don't want to be healed. What a globin. Maybe it's what an emo. I don't know. But still, if there's a battle there, I may as well make sure I complete the battle and then do it. And a counter KO for once. Half mass is our flag. As we gain a mushroom as well, so it's not like we're really struggling for healing items. Is there another guy just a little further on? Because then I can come back to healing globing man. No? Multi-coin blocks fine by me. No, it seems too far away. Let's use it and see what happens. Emo globin. I'll call you Hilo globin. A wise decision indeed. Stand right there-ish. HP and SP fully restored. Until next, Globin. But he stays around, though, so he doesn't disappear necessarily. So what's with the save blocks saying they'll disappear? The save Globins. Right, come on, guy. I'm right here. I don't want to get into, like, a, I try to jump on you. It's going to happen. There we go. I try to jump on you, you keep dodging thing. That's no fun for anyone. Oh, lucky strike for free damage. Oh, jump too early, but then... Doubled up the jump to defeat the foe. Reactions is what I would claim. Mushroom again gained. How many item blocks are- Oh! Indeed, I, I probably think that as well. But he's too high. Hey Luigi, why are you goofing up up there? I don't think he wants to be. What to do? Mario, we have to help. Jump up and grab his legs so we can pull him down. Okay. Maybe he's not too high, but we did save him. Though I think what's jumped next to us is the interesting bit. Yeah. Luigi! Mario! Oh. 
In a weird, weird looking way, it looks like Mario's puking rather than Luigi's crying. Mario! Jump and stomp him! He was very enthusiastic that time. Right, preemptive attack! If you stomp a monster to begin battle like just now, you can deal damage right off the bat! This gives you the upper hand, so use it often! Seems like Luigi's just dancing. Last time he was trying to wrestle, now he's dancing. You know... You guys need to work together to get far. Hey, by the way, Luigi! Remember how to attack? I'm sure you do, of course. You attack with B! Mario uses A and Luigi uses B. Make sure not to confuse those two guys. Yeah. Okay, who attacks first? It's Mario then. Okay, and they basically told me who it's going for as well. Oh no, it didn't? Okay, I thought the... Maybe it's what leg they stand on, but I thought it was the... Never mind. The, w the direction maybe that the lines came out of its head. There's one more defeated, but another enemy joins the battle. Wait a minute! Yeah, these monsters telegraph their attacks! Wanna hear about it? Yeah, sure, I'll hear about this one. Watch carefully as the monster moves to attack. There is the leg. Here! This monster lifts a leg before it attacks, see? So that's going for Mario. When it attacks Mario, it lifts its right leg, and when it goes for Luigi, it lifts its left. Looks like right now it's aiming for Mario. Let's do a stomp counter attack! Before every monster attacks, it gives a sign like you saw just now, but the lines were what distracted me. Where it's aiming, how it'll attack? These all have different signs, you understand? This is pretty much true of all monsters, so definitely remember this rule of thumb. Ah! I forgot to mention, Luigi, you also use B when you defend yourself. You use B when you counterattack. Use items, everything! Use it well! A button entirely to you. Yes, here! No, I know it's coming for Mario. Couldn't we push it, but this is crucial, so I'm jumping in. So can you guess where this monster is aiming? Mario, of course. Perfect! The sign before an attack is different for each monster. When you come across a tough foe, start by looking for its sign, okay? Or just any foe, we need to make sure we have it in order. Oh, only a one. Yep, yeah, the attack time is a lot closer than it was before. But there we go, defeated. Luigi this time. We got it, we got it. We got it nicely, but Luigi's down on the power sense. He doesn't easily defeat anyone. Doesn't get that four damage, but Luigi's happy, Mario's happy. That flag reached further upwards. Enemies defeated. And a pipe opened. Phew, hey! Even inside Bowser's body, there are enemies to fight. Hey, Luigi. Have you seen Princess Peach anywhere? Hmm, not you either, huh? Looks like she'll be tough to track down. Oh, right! Good thing I planned ahead and gave you guys access to the star menu. Oh, yeah, the star menu lets you track all kinds of useful information. Want to hear about it? Okay, the star menu. I guess this is just the normal menu. I guess we should hear more about it in case it's changed. Okay, then, open the star menu by pressing start. The star menu, you mean? Alright then, so now we can really see what we got going. Okay, so this is the star menu. In here, you can use items you found. Change gear. Or check out your info in detail. You can also take a look at the coins you've collected. You can even see how much time you spend adventuring. Your basic info appears up on the top screen so you can take a look whenever you want. It's smart to open the star menu to check in now and then. For instance, Luigi. Did you get dinged up in that last fight or did you just trip? Either way, your health's down. See right there. So next you should brush up on using items, right? Uh, no, nah, I think we got that bit fine. You don't need a quick review? No, I'm fine. Well, be sure to restore yourself later then, okay? I guess if I went for it though, I'd be given free mushrooms. So that's my spiel on the star menu. Use B or star to close the menu. Okay, B we shall. Okay, great! Oh, and you can see where you are with select. 
Need an explanation? No, 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 I don't want to see it. Okay, press the like to see what's next. I did wonder what that was. Okay, we got ourselves a full map. This is a map. Actually, that's interesting. I'm glad I pressed that. This shows the layout of the region you're in. See your faces? They show your current location. If you see arrows on the map borders, you can move the screen around with the directional pad. This looks like a Metroid game. Try moving it around. Okay, okay, I shall. That's it, just like that. You can also move the screen with a stylus, if you're into that. Areas you haven't seen yet will remain obscured. So if you're ever stuck on how to proceed, you should definitely check out areas you haven't been to. Maybe you'll find something. So if you're lost, open that map with select. Remember that. Okay, let's back out with select or B. Okay then, let's go look for Princess Peach. Okie dokie. Right then, let's keep on keeping on. Right, another save globin block. But Luigi got got it because of course we're now two people walking around, not just one. Must remember factoid. Okay, defeated one. Or more or less. Okay, you're going for a normal attack. Let's finish off that one. Why did you say? Because Manu can do four damage to that one, which makes the counter perfect, though the lucky there probably says that I didn't get that attack full on, but maybe Mario's gonna level up! I got you. Mario level up with a cool screen there! Right, so, apart from that, that adds the stats, and we also get to choose the bonus again. So, health points if your HP reaches zero, etc, etc, etc. Power is usually quite good for a starter. We can see what we can get here. There's definitely fives in there. That's a plus one! Really, we should have gone for something like speed or something first. Probably. Oh well. Not a good starter level. We'll step on you though this time. And we know that you will attack us probably before Luigi gets to go. Oh, that's up your power quite a bit, that level. And of course we can do the just straight double jump, so we don't even have to choose which one we want to go with. Mario just finished the job. And everyone can keep getting that more experience as we get a syrup jar. Alright, onwards we go. One up mushrooms times three, not bad. I wonder what's still before us more and more. So we can keep going this way by the look of it? Unless that... No, no, it's not a blocker. Or we can go upwards, it seems. Well, upwards is mushrooms times three. Who knows what we might bash into next. Right, by the look of it, this is a double platform, which we need to use both of them to keep getting higher. And even better, if I could just time it right and expect the timer that we need to hit it with. Right, so we're getting forward quite nicely, but apart from that, there seems to be something in that box, wouldn't you say? Wow, looks like Bowser didn't held all kinds of junk, huh? Let's hope some of it turns out to be stuff we can use. Maybe in this wooden crate. If we could break it open. So we need to get up and round by the look of it. Something about a switch up there. So keep exploring the map and try to go up. Well, we can't at the moment, that's for sure. What's this? We've got a trash pit attack pieces. We got piece one. Pieces left to find nine. Ooh, is that an attack piece? So Bowser swallowed some of those as well. Hmm, you don't know about them? Attack pieces are fragments that form special attacks. If you collect all ten of the attack pieces, you'll be able to use that special attack. What's a special attack? Well, I'll tell you later. If there's one attack piece here, I'm willing to bet that there are others nearby. Let's find them. So it seems to be our next mission is to locate... All these attack pieces, maybe. So they all come in the A button boxes like that. Okay, piece number two is found. Eight more left to find. Hopefully we don't drop into anywhere too bad. So make ourselves a special attack in Jigsaw Puzzle form. Well, we have to then make this Jigsaw Puzzle? Because that looks like a puzzle piece. Apart from the fact that they'd all just fit in interlocking and there aren't really any differences. 
That makes five. Five left to find. Maybe we'll find them in a different room. Maybe we'll find them here. Oh, there's another one. Next. And the rest are all up high by the look of it. So as we continue to collect these here, I'm going to leave you for this episode and we'll find out what happens when we've got every single piece next time on Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story with one piece left to claim. We open a door and head onwards. Join me next time for more as I go to save. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.